Good day. Hey, you're nice, oh, Dan. Hey, guys. Mark, nice to finally meet you. You too. Last time I saw him, he wasn't looking very well at all. And just to see him up walking around and so fit and healthy and positive, especially after you know, such a year. And that, all those operations, double amputation. I was going across the head of my home into Wellard. And was going down Port Kennedy Drive and I had a driver turn across my lane and take me off my motorbike. Lucky it was dark I suppose because we didn't see just how much blood was lying on the sand until we got him into the back of the ambulance when we realised just how bad his leg was. Everyone's told me I shouldn't be alive. I shouldn't have made it to hospital. I shouldn't have made it through the first night. And I think I've died three times. Like I've been through a lot. To start with it was a lot of like, trauma. Went through PTSD, a lot of suicidal thoughts. And I really struggled. I really struggled on how to be someone that was so active to being someone with one leg. Uh, I ended up speaking with Paul DeGaulle of the Navy Clearance Diver and he pretty much changed my perspective on the whole thing. And he told me that people are going to tell me what I can and can't do for the rest of my life. And I need to define my own limits and not let my limits define me. And then I started to fight again. I wanted to be alive. I wanted to do things and I started overachieving. From then it's been the fire inside me. I mean, where people at the street look at me like I'm a freak because I've got one leg. People in the fitness community look at me like I'm a freak because of what I can do with one leg. And it just inspires me to do more. I mean, I can use my journey to help other people, uh, motivate other people. People that use the excuse I don't have time or I can't go to the gym, I can't afford it. You don't need a gym, you can do it anywhere. And for me, it's that ability to be able to influence so many people. That's what makes it all worthwhile. Like the pain which I've gone through, it's easy now. Like, because I use my story to help other amputees. That's fantastic. It's a great, well, it's a good reverse thinking that's made you yeah. that just change your whole life, I guess. I've never actually met them, and I was a bit worried on camera that I was going to break down and start crying. These guys that you see in front of me, like, they've saved my life. I'm still here because of them. I can't really put it into words, but I can't thank them enough. I enjoy the work, I enjoy the challenge, because cases like this, when we're working in that sort of pressure, is challenging, but that is the job. It's how you put something back into the community. Yeah.